You know, I always talk about fireside chats. I grew up in a time when Franklin D. Roosevelt was the president. I mean, I, did, I was a young man, but he was the president. Some of you have never heard the name. And Franklin Roosevelt would have on the radio what was called fireside chats. And so people would gather around the radio and we'd be excited to hear their president is coming on and he's going to have a word for the nation. But he would begin to have fireside chats and we begin to talk about the state of the nation. And I want to begin to talk to you about the state of the nation of the kingdom. And I believe that God has brought you here as kingdom citizens, that we would begin to have a discussion concerning the state of the nation of the kingdom. And I would have you recognize that we are at war in, in our nation. We have lost territory, and greatly so, even since our president, that I, Roosevelt, we have lost territory. The spiritual realm has lost great territory to the physical realm, and that this new generation that we're birthing into this world is not aware that there is a spiritual stronghold that's greater than the physical stronghold that seems to be overtaking it. We have lost territory. We have a generation that has no sense of the core values of this kingdom. And so therefore they have been lacking power to overcome the enemy. They have lost confidence. They have lost courage. They're no longer at battle. They have surrendered to the enemy. They have lost their confidence, courage. They've lost hope. They have lost belief that they can overcome the flesh. And they have lost their belief in God as the source of their hope. Their faith in God as the source. They have committed mutiny against our leader. And it has not always been that way, but yet it's getting more dark. And if we, the citizens of this kingdom, are awakened, we will become more and more darkened by the forces of the enemy. And so I have brought you here as leaders to declare to you that we are going to be on attack. And the reason that we have lost our power is that we have forgotten who we are. And so I've taken time, he would say, if he were the speaker on the radio, I've taken time to bring us as a nation together to begin to understand our core values. That you begin to understand what you're fighting for and why the victory ultimately will be imminent, that we will win the war. And that you should be encouraged. I would have you understand why core values, the spiritual, which core values are the spiritual, I would have you understand the core values of the spiritual are far greater than the physical. In fact, they birth the physical. That everything that is physical comes out of the core values of the spiritual. That our economic state of our economy is shaped by our core values. That your core values are defined as those, that which you hold most valuable in a moment of time, those decisions and choices that we make. That which makes up the spiritual kingdom, the core values 
the invisible that brings forth the physical. That it can be seen as a choice made in a moment of time. When you purchase, have the opportunity to purchase a Bible or purchase pornography, in that moment of decision, you have made, you have cast a vote for darkness or light, and you build the economy, the banking system. You have, you have built the banking system of that economy. You have just fed into the wealth of darkness. So economies are shaped, nations are built by decisions of how its citizens spend its energy. And so your capital, your money, your paycheck is an expression of your energy. You received a paycheck. For your energy. You worked an hour, you repaid an hour. You gave a service, you were now rewarded with a check of currency. And so that currency becomes an expression of your energy, and your energy is an expression of who you are and how you spend it, is an expression of who you are. And how you expend it defines the health of your community, the health of your nations, and nations are going poor because we are not spending our capital wisely, mental and physical capital wisely. And it's based on our core values. I wear a cross, which is only a logo. But a logo is to point to the brand. A logo is not the brand. Value is never in a logo. When company sells themselves, they sell their companies. They don't sell the, it's not the logo, it's the brand they sell. And the wealth of a company is expressed in its brand. And a brand is expressed in the trust associated with the brand. Do you understand what I've said? And so when you go to a store and you reach for Tony the Tiger, you're making a decision with all the other choices. You're making a decision based on your trust. And your trust now is that point of purchase. And your point of purchase is when you put it at, check it out at the stand, is an expression of who you are. Are y'all hearing me yet? And so this message that he has come, and he would come, and I would come to give you today, is let's take stock of our brand. A brand is not who you say you are. It's not how you look on the outside. The brand are those choices we make in a moment of time. You can have a bumper sticker that says, I love Jesus, but someone honks at you and you throw a digit of your finger up. You just in that moment of time expressed your brand because it was a choice, a decision made in a moment of time. And so if you want to know your core values, you would want to be able to observe within yourself, introspect, the decisions that you make in a moment of time as your purchases, as your attitudes, as your behavior in a moment of time. And our leader is challenging us right now. What is your brand? What nation do you serve? In those moments of time of your decision making, 
Are you serving the kingdom of light? Or are you serving the kingdom of darkness? Because whoever you give your attention to, it will pay you wages. And I'm saying here today, our kingdom is at risk in this moment of time. Look around us, and if you look at the movies, and you look at the behavior of our children, you can see choices made in language and behavior in moments of time. And God has called the kingdom to order and says it's time to take back darkness and change the economy. Change what you do with your capital. How you spend your capital. Are you clear? Did you hear what I said? How are you spending your capital? Be it energy, being it relational capital, being dollar capital, how is your capital being spent? And I've come here today, and the reason that you're here today is to begin to talk about core values and moments of time and taking a look and being aware that I'm not who I am just because I claim to be as a logo. I am who I am by what I do in the moments of time. We are the only creatures that God made that has the ability to introspect. Introspect. That means we have the opportunity to observe our self-thinking. You can begin to predict your behavior by your processing, introspecting of your thoughts. You can taste your future. You can taste your future. What are you thinking now? And so we're going to begin in this seminar, begin to help you understand core values in a greater depth. How you, for you to be able to see what your now looks like. Because if I can make you aware of who you are, as expressed as your core values, if I can awaken us, this kingdom, to become aware of the spiritual realm that births the economy of this physical world, if I can get you to see, you'll begin to be master of the things of the physical because the physical comes out of the spiritual. Are we there? 